So what I've done is I've taken a drop of paint from this little dollar, the green and white on the Dollar Tree thing, a little palette of paint, acrylic paints, $1.25 for the pack, and follow the mixing chart a little bit to make some different colors. It got me thinking, maybe I should mix up some of the colors. So I did, and I'm quite pleased. Um, to begin with, I had painted, I made a video uh, showing the process, but anyway, I didn't hit play. I didn't hit record. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've added yellow to, uh, so I'm watering it down. I'm taking the acrylic paint, just a drop of it, and then adding water, and it makes it run and fill in the grooves. It's, it's quite wonderful. So I did kale, and then I decided I wanted to see a teal green version. This batch we'll call Distressed. Uh, it's not the worst. Here's the purple. I think it's set up enough to tip. So now I've done these snow pea, uh, snap pea, sugar pea. The ones that it's just real fresh, so I don't want to tip it. So I wiped all the green off and let, left the recesses. So here's i'm doing and so i took a drop of paint not much just a tiny drop and added some water and then pick it up with the brush right and um just tip 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 touch and it's kind of filling in and smoothing out and the green was a bit dark and so i think this yellow is bringing on a nice brighter fresher crisp fresh pea vibe and the really beautiful thing about so like I went a little high on the side you can just wipe it off and so that's what I did like here this one I'll show you where I had painted all over you just take a wet paper towel and quite a bit's coming off it's not smooth so there's like here and that really cleaned it up quite a bit so I did that to all the stuff I've made so far <laughs> it's a labor of love yo and so now I'm going back and adding some of this yellow to give it more of a little lime green fresh spring veggie kind of vibe and I left the word P for snow P darker give it kind of a two-tone effect and patty pan I almost want to I, know, I was thinking orange I was going to get some different colors out. And I've got these ceramic paints, ceramic coat. Not this one. That's acrylic. I've got a bit, 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 bit. Oh, it's down here. Oh, I'm about to kiss the paint. Don't do that. This stuff. It's not acrylic. Um, might not matter. So, okay, I grabbed one. Let's see what happens. But, I mean, the tiniest drop, right? Okay. I'm trying not to. So, this is just some clean water I've been using. And once I've gotten a, a bubble, it goes fast. Shoo! Spread, spread, spread. So, since I'm going to seal them, I think it would be okay. So, let's do, um, oh, let's do the butterfly on shallots and see 
how this fares. It's quite pretty. It's bringing out the texture of the butterfly wing quite nicely. Well, that's pretty groovy. Ooh. Okay, so made a little mistake. water it's quite forgiving oh yeah that is really really not so bad I think orange yellow uh, I've got other colors I'm gonna play around well, that's quite nice, actually. Um, I quite like that. Ooh, I like it. Blue butterfly. Very nice. And one tiniest drop. I could make so many stamps. So, I've been squirting out so much paint. Oh, such a waste. And I just realized. Okay, so, let me, let's see what happens if I do some of the letters shallots I don't know why I made it ugh plural I wanted it to be longer I guess it wasn't long enough as it stood shallot you just load that brush and it just carries I'm just tipping my touch of my brush Woo, look, it just filled in. It's quite satisfying, actually. Um, not lots of skill. So, it's right in my alley. <clears throat> well, I kind of like that. It's quite nice. And I think I need to experiment with... Ooh, got a message. More colors. It's probably merely a center of typo message. I was trying to Google what colors you could make. And instead of Googling it, I sent it in a text message. Plural. It wasn't long enough. I like that, actually, quite a bit. I like the different colors. Um, I feel like some yellow, orange, bright spring. So, I've been ignoring the paint bin. Because it's all ceramic. But I'm just realizing... Or not ceramic. Uh, ceramic, not... Acrylic. I need acrylic paint. But apparently you could maybe use any paint, especially if you're going to seal it. So I've got all these different colors down here. One or two of them might be fun. So we got a random draw. Okay. Red and a beige. And I thought I had, oh, those are weird little glow-in-the-dark paints. They don't leave much of a color. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't want them to. Might be kind of nice. Maybe I will just brush the outside. Of these and see how it looks. Let me get some of that green off. So this has all been an experiment and a first time. Oh yeah. Crazy. Yeah, we'll call these distressed. Yeah, because I was distressed at how junky they looked. Now they look better, I guess. I don't know. The more love you put on them, they seem to come together. Let's see. What else we got here? What else we got? We got some interesting colors besides beige. What's up, beige? We can't be it. Oh, that looks like a bright oh, cream. Come on now. 
can do better than that. Okay, grab three. And <laughs> we got a light brown and a sort of blue. What the heck? Green and white. I can tell what's coming next. Yep, green and white. And what else we got here? Is this a random look? Aha, I like this yellow. I'm feeling that spring as a pop. Tulip glitter fabric paint. I have some glitter paints I was given. Might mess around with that and just see what it looks like in a dot. Um, these glow in the dark. They actually go on very transparent. And they're not super powerful. What is that? Ooh. It's not much there. It is also acrylic, and I've been learning that when the tiniest drop goes the longest way, very red, also acrylic, so that's good, but I'm finding that that's not the point. Black. And it's for fabric. Oh, that's kind of a lovely... Look at these. Oh, what we get here? Okay, another red. I guess we're going to do something in red. I like the green. Have green. To keep up. It's a lovely blue. Beige. Um, it's quite pretty. It's quite nice. I kind of like that. Getting some colors showing up. Hmm. These have been sitting so long. They're completely separated. What else we got? Extreme blue. Oh, wow. The table was clean. And... It's not now. I'm not even close. Ah. Okay. Beige. That's kind of a rosy pink. It's kind of very gentle. But that's a nice soft orange. Right there. And more yellow. A really okay. I, I like that quite a bit. That soft orange. It's got kind of a nice fun spring vibe. And this yellow. Also, this yellow too. But anyway, I showed you how separated that was. And I'm just shaking this for just a minute. Not that long. And it really redistributes quite nicely. These paints are amazing. Like that, I guess all paints are like that. I'm not that familiar with paint. I'm new to paint. Um, so, I have to get a sealer or... Take these ones that I've made that I have drying. Turn the heat back on. I've set them up. They look way nicer. I made <laughs> I made this whole long video where I showed you guys me cleaning these up that I just repainted and the stamps and I smoothed out a bunch of the new the net lat, most recent batch. These are unsealed, but I, I smoothed them all out with uh, water quite a bit and I made a video about it. And I even sang you guys a song. Well, I never hit record on the camera. I sang um, a song my grandmother made up about me. And I sang a couple of other nursery rhymes that she used to sing. And I think I referenced Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So anyway, these are the ones that are drying in front of the heater. They're much nicer. But I have decided that what I need to do is stamp the letters and then cut it out. Because when I'm stamping them, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can. It's creating a bend, like an arc from the stamp. And it's right at where the leaf is. And so that kicked the clay to the side. And I'm noticing it's consistent everywhere. So I'm getting that bend in the stamp. God, these are curing up so much nicer. Nice. Nice. And, uh... These are going to be ready to seal tomorrow. Putting the heater on them. I know it's air dry clay, but I'm in such an extremely humid environment. It's making such a difference. And I can feel the moisture really coming out of... And I turned my tote sideways. And so I can really feel the moisture coming out of the stamp that I made. So I feel like I'm getting a better result on the dry because it was taking forever to dry i'm up here in the pacific northwest where do i put the that hurts oh, oh here they are 
Oh, don't knock over the water. Jeez. Oh, jeez. There we go. There we go. We put these down in front of the heater. God, it's getting so nice and dry. It's like a... I see people, you're using air dehumidifiers for their air dry clay projects. And I've created a nice little heat environment under the table with a little heater on, which is keeping the house cozy warm on this dreary, rainy Pacific Northwest day. So I think what I need to do, I've already painted all these. Is just take all the different colors, the neon ones, the light, light glow ones, the glitter, all the different colors, and just do a test run and see how it looks. So, ciao. I have these ugly ones. I've decided they're the ugly ones for sure. And so, oh, here I can I can show you what's going to happen. Um, what I did these. The ones here, they were all painted. And so here, I'll show you exactly what happened. Took a wet napkin. And I was trying to clean it up. And I was just like, doggone. You can literally just wipe the paint off. I mean, it's not just like, zoop, gone. You put a little bit of elbow grease into it. But it was totally forgiving. It let me come back in. And these were the very first ones I've ever done. So anyway, I don't even want to use these. They're so inconsistent. They're hard. And you see what I'm talking about? How you can wipe that paint off? And so that is what I did to all these. I don't want to use this. Oh, here's that stamp I was looking for. That I was going to do a test run on. It's unpainted, unfinished. I've only got so much clay. Uh, but now that we're working... That's all the clay I have left. So I need to be conservative with my thoughts and my actions. Or I'll run out like just like that. Because these are mediocre. And I wish I hadn't jumped in so hard and so fast. But anyway, I did. So this is unpainted, is it? It sure feels unpainted. Probably not because... Oh, maybe it is. I don't remember, but it's probably not unpainted it might be because I made a stamp from this already I turned that into a stamp so I made this and then I made a impression and now I have a stamp came out quite nice oh that's reclaiming clay I put some water in on some hard clay and oh here they are I um uh, it re-softens it. That's one of the beauties of air dry clay is it's also reclaimable. If you're like, ooh. Next. Okay, here's the leaf. Came out quite nice. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. Uh, I will now. My next batch. I also made a heart. And I made a flower. And the flower I made from this. And I haven't used all these little impressions that I've made, but that's okay. And I've painted all these with blue, but I could do test runs on colors just to see how they come out. I don't know. I gotta think about it. I'm not sure what I want to do. Not sure what I want to do. So, there are no letters and things. I'm going to... I do want to do a test run on these colors. But I don't have anything ready to paint. So, it only was the tiniest drop. And so, I, I put out four or five drops of paint. You can't see that. Up here. And it was just excessive and wasteful. There was no point. Because the tiniest little finger drop... Boop, 
goes the longest way for several plant stakes. So that's good to know. Live and learn. Now I've got this white paint. I could just mix all the white paint. And maybe do... It might have been too much water. Like a wash on some of the edges. Maybe. The white doesn't want to mix as well as the other ones did. Hmm. Oh, maybe because it's set out for a minute. I actually squirted that out. Over an hour ago, I guess. I was laying down. I was thinking about taking a nap. I mean, that is a white paint wash. Doesn't seem to be making any difference. Like a little tiny green speck there, and it's still there. I don't know. It might kind of clean it up just a little bit. I don't know. It's still a layer of acrylic paint, which, oh boy, that went down into my letters. That's not what I'm trying to do. Might not be a big deal. I still have the original color that I made that with. So maybe I'll go back. over. See? You just go in here and pick up some of that. And then... Boop, boop, boop. I don't want you so light white. Put that darker color back in. I quite like that blue. Actually. Yeah, I do like that blue. Ooh. up your mess. And garbage can over there. Clean up your mess. Clean up your mess. I hate to waste all that paint. I've painted everything I have to paint. And I don't have anything to experiment these colors on, but I did pull them all out to look at them. I think I'll thin the herd on a couple of the beiges and beiges. I have, but I'm probably going to want them later, of course. So I've got this tote that I'm going to put in a motorhome. I think I'm going to stash some stuff away. So I'm going to drag the tote out. I've been making, I was making fairy houses, and now I'm not, so. Alright, you guys. Um, I'm going to soak up most of this paint with little bits of paper towel. And then I'm going to wash it out real good. I inherited this paint tray. And every time I use it, it gets just a hair cleaner. Man, I got donated some of the best supplies that helped me get started on this craft journey. Just to try stuff without spending, because I didn't have anything, honestly, to spare. Just started back to work, 
and I'm really grateful. But first thing we're going to purchase, of course, is a hot water heater and an oil change and a couple other things. So I intend to sell something one day. <laughs> it's the ultimate goal. I don't know. I think it's accomplishable. I, I think it's doable. I think it's very doable. Alright. I'm going to go wash this out in the sink. And, uh, y'all have a beautiful day.